Oh, hello and welcome to the channel. Today's plan and work is to extend my PYD HVS battery tower with two modules. So this is the module and you can see this is the HVS module one piece at 2.56 kilowatt yeah it weighs a lot 38 kilo and BYD recommends that we extend the tower when the battery voltage is around 30 percent so we will check what the voltage is and what my <coughs> battery voltage of the, of the current tower is and whether they match you can see here the voltage terminals and this is the upper side and make sure you wear gloves or do not touch the contacts because it's more than 100 volts that is the front the upper part and that is the below these are the exposed terminals so um 30 percent translates to around around 3.22 volt per cell and this battery module contains 32 batteries that would translate to around 103 volts so if the volt i measure is 103 volts then it has 30 percent charge otherwise yeah let's see what it has oh which one is positive which one is negative so it needs yeah both hands this one yeah the back side this side is the positive and if we go to the upper side then this side is the negative and this is my multimeter so let's put terminals at its place and see what it says and oh it comes to 105.4 yeah this edge uh, a little bit more oh. rough mathematics would say 105.4 divided by 32 would be around 3.29 yeah, 3.29 3.3 is a little bit higher I would say around 70 percent hmm what to do let's check the another one I have two of the modules so this is the first module and this is the second module ah, the BOID documents say that yeah usually they have around 30 percent however here this doesn't seems to hold the water oh, it is always good to check what the voltage is uh, let's see what does it says oh it is also the same 105.3 okay so in these winter months not so much sun so currently my tower has two modules and zero percent what to do yeah so this is a question yeah i cannot discharge it oh the one idea is to be remove the two modules and connect it to the tower only these two and discharge it to the zero percent and then extend it hmm, i think i would do that yeah that's it for now thanks for watching if you have liked it please like it and if you have disliked it or did not like it then you can also dislike it otherwise subscribe and keep watching for the 
next videos thanks a lot that's for today bye bye so welcome again to the channel today we will replace these two zero percent modules with new modules which is supposed to have 30 percent but they have 70 percent charge so first i will switch off and see this thing is now up and afterwards I have to switch off the inverter. Inverter is switched off and to remove the modules first the BCU needs to be removed and then one of these screws. So let me do that. The BCU is now separated and these modules are heavy so I need help. The modules are now removed and we have to shift to the new modules so two old one are here now these are the new ones and now only the PCU needs to be put on these PCU is now done so let's turn on it turn it on and because the previous modules were also two so I don't need to change anything in the configuration it is booting then I will switch to the app and see what is there so I am at the desktop app connect ok and refresh it Hmm, it says SOC is only 5%. Even when it is 29.90 volt. And now it is 5% more. Let's go to home again. And refresh. Okay, in diagnostics. It is only 5.5%. Maybe it will change when I start the inverter. Okay, so now it is finished. It turned out that the BYD app does not accept anything above 30%. If it is 31, 32, it does not expect accepts. So I had to do a full charge and discharge till 30%. And then now it is working you can see in the app the voltage is now 419 volts and 105 volts per module is the 30 percent of BYD standard yeah so it is working and update was successful thanks for watching like and subscribe thank you and one last thing we can see that all the cells are pretty balanced and have almost the same voltage 3.27 3.27 between 3.273 and 3.278 on the 128 cells that's pretty good. So that's it then. Thanks again.